Ezra Miller has been the talk of the film industry over the past few weeks because Secrets of Dumbledore just came out and suddenly he's causing a ton of trouble for Warner Brothers. Just a few weeks ago, he was arrested for harassing and threatening individuals at a bar. Then only a few days after, a couple filed a restraining order against him for barging into their room, threatening them and stealing from them. And with that happening, we all thought that he was going to be fired from upcoming Warner Brothers projects and they'd blacklist him because they held an emergency meeting to reportedly talk about his future with the company. But now he has been arrested another time for attacking another woman in Hawaii. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic at hand, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted. And of course, if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon for just a dollar a month or supporting the channel via YouTube memberships. All of the links are in the description, and of course, I do really appreciate all of the support. So I wanted to start off with this Cosmic Book News article. It says the Flash Ezra Miller arrested again. This definitely wasn't the news that I was expecting to hear. I thought after he was arrested the first time and we heard about the restraining orders, that was going to be that. It, everything with him was going to be silent for the next few weeks or months, um, especially with Secrets of Dumbledore releasing. I know that that movie has not done well, and it definitely didn't do the numbers they were expecting, but at the same time, I think that it's been a nightmare for them PR-wise. They've been dealing with Ezra Miller and all of the problems he's been causing. They've been dealing with the Johnny Depp and Amber trial. That just started, so a lot of people are talking about that because, of course, he was fired from this film over her accusations. There's just a lot of bad news for Warner Brothers right now. I don't feel bad for them, but these are the types of people that they want to defend. It says, the Flash star Ezra Miller has been arrested again in Hawaii, this time for second-degree assault, which follows the actor's recent troubles that include two outstanding cases. The Hawaii Police Department released a press release on Tuesday that Ezra was arrested for assault. At 1.10 a.m., Puna patrol officers responded to a report of an assault that occurred at a get-together at a private residence of one of the estate's subdivisions in Lower Puna. During the course of their investigation, police determined that the individual, later identified as Ezra Miller, became irate after being asked to leave and reportedly threw a chair, striking a 26-year-old female on the forehead, resulting in an approximate half-inch cut in the female victim refused treatment for her injury. This is yet another instance of Ezra Miller kind of having a meltdown, um, attacking people, threatening people, just being a generally terrible person. I just think that this is a pattern that he is not breaking out of. And while I'm sure Warner Brothers has sat down and talked to him, especially after a similar situation happened a couple of years ago where there was a video going around of him choke slamming a woman, I feel like he has been given plenty of warnings at this point. I feel like this is just how he is. This is who he is. This is the way that he acts and he's not going to change. He clearly has a history of acting up, and the article also points this out. It's also learned that in addition to the previous three incidents, Ezra Miller has reportedly been the subject of at least 10 police phone calls in Hilo, Hawaii, which include Miller being accused of filming people at a gas station, refusing to leave the sidewalk outside a restaurant, and arguing with people. And of course, on March 28th, he was arrested for disorderly conduct and harassment after an incident at a bar in Hilo where the actor grabbed the microphone from a woman singing and later lunged at a man playing darts. Now, eventually there comes a point where companies need to reevaluate their relationships with actors, and this is one of those times. Ezra is completely unhinged and at this point has ruined any good image he had, and we thought that weeks ago, never mind now. I think that in the next few days, they'll start distancing from him. They're going to have to put out some kind of statement addressing this whole situation, and I don't even know what they're going to say besides uh, maybe they 
won't work with him after The Flash. Maybe The Flash will never even release at this point. I know a lot of people have been on the fence about supporting The Flash because it is Warner Brothers because uh, of the whole Johnny Depp situation. Um, I know a lot of people are also very upset to hear about all of the rumors that apparently they're erasing the Snyderverse. I've talked about that in previous videos, but I know that the Flash movie itself has been surrounded in controversy. Never mind the fact that Ezra Miller is the star of it. I don't know what they're going to do at this point unless they uh, show him the door. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. I mean, they have defended Amber for years at this point. They chose Amber over Depp. I think that they're just gonna silently keep working with Miller and hope that in the next few years, um, all of this talk will kind of die down. And by the time the Flash releases, everyone will have forgotten about the situation or it'll be in the back of the mind of a lot of consumers. I also wanted to reference this article from a couple of weeks ago as well. It says Ezra Miller as the Flash on hold following Warner Brothers emergency meeting. And it was only reported that they held this emergency meeting, but it didn't sound that crazy because obviously he's causing all of these problems for them. He's become a bit of a nightmare for them. Of course, they'd want to have a meeting over it. But now I don't even know what they're going to do. Maybe they will publicly come out and say we refuse to work with him anymore, or maybe they'll just continue to stay silent. It says, though, confirming what we had previously reported, now it is learned that Warner Brothers has held an emergency meeting regarding the behavior of Ezra Miller, which follows his recent arrest in Hawaii for disorderly conduct and harassment. Rolling Stones reports that the arrest of Miller prompted an emergency meeting about the star's future, where an insider says Miller had frequent meltdowns while filming last year on The Flash and described the actor as losing it. You can't help people that do not want to be helped, but I hope that Ezra Miller wants help because clearly he needs it. Clearly, he is not in a stable mindset at this point. Um, he's causing all of these problems for himself, for the companies he's representing, and he's working with. I, I just feel like, though, the problem with saying that is that he's done this many, many times over many, many years. It's not like it's just happening now. Um, over the years, he has put out posts on social media that made him seem very crazy. He's assaulted other people. I just don't know if there's a way to help him at this point. It's said that as a result of that meeting, Warner Brothers has decided to hit pause on any future projects involving Miller, including possible appearances in the DCEU. We don't even know what they're going to do with the DCEU at this point. We initially thought that this movie was going to kick off the next phase of the DCEU and it was going to change the future of the DCEU, but now they're moving it to the end of the release slate for all of the films coming out in the next couple of years, like with Aquaman, with maybe even potentially the next Wonder Woman, with the Batgirl movie. Only time will tell. We'll definitely have to see what happens. I'm curious to see if Warner Brothers actually puts out a statement now that he has been arrested again. But for now, that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next next video really soon.